There was a time I was quite lonely, and nobody seemed to understand me. One time I was walking on a narrow lane. It was very quiet, and no one was around. That's when I sensed the Holy Spirit saying to me, You are not alone. Jesus is with you. No matter how much you've been wronged and suffered, no matter where you go, Jesus will always be with you. He will always walk beside you. So I started singing. To be honest, there have been moments we were discouraged, but we would never say I would stop believing. Maybe I'd say, Lord, I'd like to take a break from sharing the gospel. Let me stay home and still believe in you. Truthfully, we've all had similar thoughts. There are too many souls at stake. I know God has put a love for my country in my heart. Psalm 33 says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. When I read this, I thought of my own country. For so many years and generations, it has been caught up in the fire and smoke of wars. Lord, please watch over China. I believe when our nation turns to you, you will bless us. The Holy Spirit moved me to lift my hands in prayers to the Lord for China. The whole assembly was overtaken by the song. They raised their hands and prayed out loud, Lord, China belongs to you, from the highest to the lowest. Let them all turn to you. God has come to China. In this vast, barren land of 960,000 square kilometers, the gospel is moistening every inch like the gentle rain of spring. In the Spring Festival party hosted by CCTV broadcast live to the whole country, a song, I Love My Home, performed by a Christian family, was very well received. Handel's Messiah had an impressive debut performance in Beijing.
Jesus is walking on the land of China. He walks with grace and supreme power, but in simple clothes. He walks into poor and desolate villages through main streets and narrow lanes. He is followed by groups of Chinese people. Among them is the singer Xiao Min. Many years ago, Xiao Min became a mother, but her life still belongs to God and His Church. She is a beloved daughter of China. Her songs continue to flow from her heart. Canaan hymns are becoming the holy songs of the Chinese nation. They are the pulse of 70 million Chinese Christians. They reflect the path where so many missionaries walked in the past century. They prophesy the inescapable destiny of the Chinese nation. Sun. 